Alright, now how do I get back to the entrance? This way, maybe? Now, now I knew what, what, the, what that way was. Jeez, alright. Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna skip. Just gonna skip to when I get there, because this is starting to annoy me. Maybe I... Maybe I go over here? Is that just it? Is that just it right there? Yeah, that's just it right there, okay. Alright, well, we'll head up the elevator in the next episode, guys. Things are getting super intense, but also super fun. And man, Team Flare is way more dangerous than I remember from my first playthrough, which is also super duper fun. Um, until next time, though, this has been HH22, and I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, does this elevator key work? It does. All right. Uh, just the other one that I can go to, I guess. Welcome back to the Let's Play, by the way, guys. Things are really starting to heat up here in the Team Flare base. <sighs> okay. Wow, I didn't expect that. Listen, one who will face Lysander. Talking to me, I guess? A terribly long time ago. There was a man in a Pokemon. He loved that Pokemon very much. A war began. And the man's beloved Pokemon took part in the war. And I see it there. It's pretty savage looking, jeez. Several years passed. He was given a tiny box. The man wants to bring the Pokemon back no matter what it took. The man built a machine to give it life. So the weapon wasn't even a weapon to start, was it? Interesting. He brought his beloved Pokemon back. The man had suffered too much. His rage still had not subsided. He could not forgive the world that had hurt the Pokemon he loved. Yeah, I know where this is going. He turned the machine into the ultimate weapon. Sounds like he and Lysander were very similar people. Yikes. The man became a bringer of destruction that ended the war. The Pokemon that was given life must have known. And that the lives of many Pokemon were taken to restore its life. Couldn't you just take a little life force from way more Pokemon? Wouldn't that work? The resurrected Pokemon left the man. And those are the stones, the graves. Wow, okay. Get the key back. It should be you it should not be used. Everything will vanish again. And do you want to know unending pain like I have? Is he the guy? Like I obviously obviously know he's the guy. And but here I wouldn't at this point, right? That is AZ. 
and he has the same name as a king that lived 3,000 years ago, and for some unknown reason, he had the key to the ultimate weapon hung around his neck. It's finally time. Follow me to my chambers. He's the... Right here. Right in front of him. Lysander has a living... A living monument. To exactly what he's going to become if he does this. And he's still not wise enough not to do it. What a fool. This has got to be where his chambers are, right? Anything over here? Nope, just a vent. In case I need to crawl through a vent. Okay. What a crazy location. Who's this guy? Have I seen this guy? So the Pokeballs uh, we've received and the Pokemon we've gathered are where they need to be. And add it all up. And it means all preparations are complete. Sorry, I had to cut there for a second to deal with a mounting crisis. The only thing left to do is to put the plan into motion. I'm counting on you. And one push of a button, and we can activate the ultimate weapon from this room. I believe being a chosen one means you have the potential to change the future. Yeah? And whether you activate the ultimate weapon or leave it safely underground will rest upon if you actually have this potential or not. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you're the one I've heard so much about. I've been waiting for you. I need to do a little re research on you. Come, let us begin. Sure. Research away while I kick your ass. Interesting. So... An Aquasmos, maybe? Just because fighting a poison type with a fairy type isn't a great idea. Swords dance. That won't do much at all. Ugh, how annoying. Stop. If that happens again, I'm gonna get mad. Alright, I'm mad. Just shadow sneak it until it's dead. Come on. How much? Not a lot. It's fine. I should still be alright. That was a crit and it still hardly did anything. Still, I think it's probably going to take four hits of Shadow Sneak to beat this thing. Maybe three if I get a high roll or a crit. Come on, go. So freaking annoying. The hacks are strong with this game, man. Yeah, I know, game. Thanks for telling me. Just end it, quick. Hopefully he has a dark type next, so I can just switch back to Bloom. What else you got, buddy? Come on. Leveled from that, which is fantastic. Anybody else gonna level? Anybody? Play's dead, good. Good. And Malamar. Hmm. Kinda wish I still had Fury Cutter. Um, sure. Let's just go all out. Go, Blaze. Such a cool, weird, cool Pokemon. Um, anyway, Charizard. Mega Evolve. And use Flamethrower. Yeah. Look at him. So cool. He makes the sun super bright inside this enclosed room. Now burn it. Love, love to eat me some fried calamari. Anybody? Yeah! Beautiful. Need all the levels I can get at this point, honestly. Yeah, you got owned, yo. Oh, ho, ho. you're wonderful. Your Pokemon are amazing. Yeah, they are. Don't even think about trying to steal their life for us, man. Won't happen. Wonderful. Amazing. You have tremendous skill and bravery. When you add that up, it means I will tell you something very interesting. 
It happened 3,000 years ago. The ultimate weapon was used to put an end to the war in an instant. If we use that incredible power, we can finally free Kalos of the, fuel, the foolish humans that plague it. Behind me, you'll find a red button and a blue button. One of them is the button to activate the ultimate weapon. Push one now. Come on, push one. Okay, I actually don't remember what the answer is to this. But Evelto is reddish. And red is also a more aggressive color, so I'm going to guess blue. I don't know. I hate that they make you do this, though. Yep, just do it. You pressed it. Oh, you pressed the blue switch. Winner, winner. Congratulations. Did I actually do it? Did I actually win? But I'm still going to activate the ultimate weapon. Fuck you, man. I know the boss promised that we wouldn't if you push the correct button, but I refuse to let the potential go to waste. I'll just use my remote here. Click, click, and the power is on. Ah. Uh, come on, look at the monitor. Um. Oh, this isn't good. This, this seems, in fact, quite bad. Um. Yoink. So those were there to mark the location of the weapon. Probably so that nobody would ever forget about it, and therefore no one would ever use it again, right? And yet here we are. So do I actually have a chance to stop this thing still? What the hell am I supposed to do? Regardless, though, this is probably the closest that Hero has ever come to seeing the end of the world. It's cool looking, though. If nothing else, it's cool looking. Knock the houses clean over, too. Look at that. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go. Did you see? The ultimate weapon is reborn. Uh, the poisonous flower has bloomed. All shall perish except for Team Flare. Look at Chiosenge. It has bloomed in Chiosenge Town. The boss is dreaming pretty, but your whole world it will come true. Add it all up, and it equals the victory for our science. Screw you, this is not what science is for. And if you were really a scientist, you would know that. I can't let this happen. Somehow I have to stop it. Maybe it's still charging. Maybe I still have time. Gotta get to Geosenge, though, as quickly as possible. Let's go, Blaze. Hopefully the Pokemon Center is still in operation. Yeah, she doesn't even seem like she's noticed anything different. Alright, sure. Should probably grab some more items while I have a second. But just really quickly, I can't afford to be distracted right now. I, I'm pretty sure I know how to enter whatever facility they're using to control the weapon, though, at the very least. Yep, I'm good. I could sell that big nugget, but I don't really need to at the moment. It seems like it would be a waste of time. Alright, if I'm right, then... Jeez, look at this. This is nuts. Yeah, that's what I figured. The entrance is over here. You'd better have come here prepared, both you and your Pokemon. Yep. Literally just prepared. Yeah, that that rock formation back there looked like it had some kind of door behind it. That's gotta be where they've got all this set up. Just to be safe, because he's got three Pokemon, let's charge up Calm Mind. to his turn. Alright, sure. Um, let's try a Moon Blast now. He's several levels weaker than me, so I'm assuming a Moon Blast will just take him out. And I assumed right. Alright, cool. What else you got, man? Hope it's a lot of Dark types, so I can just sweep right through him. Golbat, not a Dark type. Alright, sure. I'm gonna try anyway. Moon Blast. I am powered up, after all. 
Yeah, you know, didn't knock it out, unfortunately. All right. And that's going to hurt a lot. Or not a lot, actually. Sure. End it, please. Boom. In the name of the moon. And... What's your last one? Scrafty. All right. Now, at least you tried a little bit. Hit it. Boom. Didn't stand a chance. Bloom's a very good Pokemon now that she's got some pretty good moves on her. Yep, I noticed. Thanks. That I defeated Team Flare Grunt. I also care literally 0% about what he had to say. Alright. Lysander does whatever he can to help us realize our goals. Surely he deserves respect for that. He deserves nothing. He deserves nothing. Screw him. Here, I'm coming with you. When I was in Lysander's lab, the masked heroes told me what was going on. They also told me that Team Flare plans to... They also told me what Team Flare plans to do with the ultimate weapon. Come on, let's stop Team Flare. No, we have to stop Lysander himself. The world isn't corrupt enough to give up on yet. I'm glad you're with me, Serena. I mean, literally, she's not, but you know what I mean. It would be cool if, like, she actually followed you for a little while at this point. Because we know they have a following animation in the game, because Shauna follows you earlier in the game in the forest. Any of you guys going to try to stop me? Because I frankly dare you to. There he is. There's Serena, okay. The ultimate weapons f uh, flower has finally bloomed above the soil. And don't you find this beauty captivating? I do, but that doesn't mean you're doing the right thing. As we speak, it draws its energy from the legendary Pokemon. Hero, I apologize that the weapon was unearthed even after you chose correctly in the lab. But conflicting egos drive the world. Things don't always go the way you want. Sure enough, and we're not going to let you use the ultimate weapon. Even though resources, space, and energy on this planet are limited, the number of people and Pokemon has increased to an unsustainable level. Yeah, but see, overpopulation isn't a real thing because the population plateaus at at a certain point, it only seems like the world is still encroaching on overpopulation because there are certain nations that haven't reached that plateau point yet. Like, we'll reach the plateau point well before we run out of space and resources. That's just a fact. Whether it's money or energy, the, one who's st the ones who steal or the ones who win. In this you're, you just didn't listen to a word I said, did you? That doesn't give you the right to destroy everyone but the ones Team Flare chooses. So tell me. The Mega Ring. Did you share it? That's different. We competed for it, but... When there is only one of something, it can't be shared. When something can't be shared, it will be fought over. Competition isn't fighting, dumbass. When something is fought over, some must survive without it. You're not talking about forcing people to survive without. You're talking about wiping them out. There's a difference. I'm done. I'm done listening to your, your bullshit rhetoric. Serena can keep talking to him. I'm done. This guy is an idiot. He keeps contradicting himself. He's so fucking stupid. <sighs> Wiping out Pokemon. Fuck this guy. Can we just get, get on with this, please? Enough of this. Yeah, I agree. You want to stop the ultimate weapon, and I refuse to do so. So I will keep you busy for just a moment. Okay. Doing this again already, alright. Need to think this through more this time. Thanks for wasting your turn, buddy. Could have actually done some pretty good damage. Yeah, about what I expected. Alright. I don't like this. I wish he had called in some guys to fight me or something. 
Um, because we fight him again, I fight him again, but you'll be there with me, technically. Um, he will be fought again in just a couple of minutes, and um, he's significantly stronger, right? So it, it kind of breaks the suspension of disbelief. Fun. Rock Tomb, let's go. How much is this going to do? Over half, shoot. So I'm not going to knock him out with a single Rock Tomb, but maybe I can lower his speed enough that I'll be able to attack first. I doubt it, but it's possible, right? Oh, and I did. Okay, good. Good. I still didn't knock it out, though. Shoot. Damn it. What a close battle, though. Oh, I should have switched back into... I should have switched back into Bloom after he used Outrage, shouldn't I? Because he was locked into using a Dragon-type move that she would have been immune to. Shoot. That would have been the smart thing to do. I will freely admit, though, that this battle is stressing me out a little bit, though, so I'm not actually thinking on all cylinders. Doesn't matter, though. His Gyarados is down, and that's what's important. That's the backbone of his team. Alright, who's he bringing out next? Pyroar. Of course he is. Pyroar is part normal type, so Poe is the perfect Pokemon to go against it. He also picked a peck of pickled peppers. Bring it, man. Power up punch, let's go. Yikes, that's dangerous. Didn't do half damage to me though, so I should be fine. Hit it again. It would be nice if somebody would frickin' miss with Fire Blast every once in a while. One of these, one of the rare NPCs who actually knows it, you know? Whew. Close battle. Another close battle, but again, that, but uh, th but this time, this one swung in my favor. The last one did not. All right, Hunchcrow next. It evolved. Okay. Would have been really nice to have Chomper, but he lost that last close battle. <laughs> Maybe Bloom can do it. Hunchcrow's bulkier, though, than Murkrow. It's not as fast, and it doesn't hit that much harder, if at all. I'm trying to remember exactly, uh, but it's bulkier. I prefer Murkrow. I prefer Murkrow over Hunchcrow. Murkrow with an Eviolite. But, to each his own, I guess. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, this episode is going to run over a little bit, which is fine, I think. I don't think any of you guys are going to complain about it. But I am going to finish this, this episode. The strength to protect, huh? But what are you really protecting? Tomorrow that will only end up being worse than today? Maybe. For a little while. But as long as we work together, we can change that. There is no reason to press the goddamn reset button, you dumb, screwy asshole. It's almost like he understands the language of Pokemon battles better than just regular fucking talking. You're as strong as ever. But it's too late. There's no hope for you now. Go down to the lowest floor and see for yourself. It's not over yet. Hero, let's look for the legendary Pokemon. Trainers are protected by Pokemon, but they protect Pokemon too, right? Look, you can see the entrance to the lower floor over there. Yes, I can. <sighs> let's heal up. Jeez. I actually remember this next part being pretty challenging. So, um, I should probably be 100% prepared. And by 100% prepared, I mean I should heal literally everybody. Okay. And then probably save, just to be safe, right? I am going to stop you. I hope you, I hope you realize that. Let's hurry. Yeah. And now she's following me, because it would have been too hard to just do this earlier. Yeah, I'm afraid we're going to have to ask you to turn back. Legendary Pokemon is at the end of this chamber, after all. 
And why did you tell them that? You know, who would even do something like that? An idiot, obviously. <clears throat> I wonder how embarrassing it is to know that the grunt is smarter than you and you're an admin. Okay, good matchup. Let's end this fast. Moonblast on the Lyapurg, please. Toxicroak's down. And... Okay. Come on. And... Oh, it... Okay. Was faster than me. That sucks. And... Boom. Jeez. Will she be able to heal her Pokemon? I imagine she can, right? She seems to have lots of healing items. She's always healing my guys for me and stuff, right? Whew. Yeah, I'm just gonna go right past y'all. I get what lines that in there, blah, 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 blah. Don't, don't even entertain his, his dumbass ideology. Just don't even do it. Or he'll worm his way under your skin. Even if things are just as we heard, I can't believe they're sending smart guys like us to uh, run off some little Rattata that wandered in. You won't lose, and you won't get one step further. The trainer moving on to the next level will be a Team Flare. Okay? Are you trying to get to the next level? I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand what that meant. Shouldn't be a problem. Should get rid of the Mighty Enna, though, immediately, if possible. Because it, it's actually dangerous to Serena's Pokemon. Uh, so, Moonblast. Nice. Good job. Hit it. Bye. Feel bad hurting Mighty Ennas. They're very cute doggos. Just the doggiest of doggos. All my guys are leveling from this, too, which is great. Let's learn Double Team, which, no. No. Double Team is too cheap. I only use it if I have literally no other choice. Um, go for a Magic Leaf this time and Double Team with Serena. Assuming her Pokemon doesn't get knocked out by Bite. It didn't, which is good. Alright. Now hit it, come on. This should do enough to beat it. Oh, it just barely didn't. Jeez. <sighs> okay. That's not going to do much, though. Okay, finish it, please. Yeah. Alright, not great, but not bad either. Yeah. Yes, I lost, but no matter. Lysander is the one who will take care of things. He's already lost me twice, lady. <sighs> I like how they still pay out money, even if, if they're like literal terrorists. Hero, Serena! I don't believe it. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I know. I'm just going to slow you down. But, but friends should stick together. I'm the one who should be apologizing. You came all the way out here, and I wasn't very considerate of your feelings. Y you were right. Friends should stick together. Hero, we should all go together, right? Of course. I knew you'd agree. Okay, Shauna, Hero and I will go ahead. Stay close to us, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, having more Pokemon to throw at this thing isn't a bad idea. Long staircase, holy shit. Our plans haven't succeeded just yet. We cannot afford any careless mistakes. Thanks for telling me I still have a chance. Who's got that flare? Team flare. Yeah, we've got that flare. Team flare. What are you, a cheerleader? Not that there's anything wrong with cheerleaders, but like... Like, you get my point. Okay. Not a, neither one of these is a great matchup for Serena. 
Um, aim for Houndoom first, though, because he's probably... Ow, oh, he got faked out, so he wouldn't have been dangerous at all, would he? Whatever, it's fine. Oh, that didn't even do it. Shoot. He's crunch, which is gonna hurt. At least she survived. A single moon blast will take out Scrafty, so I'm gonna do that. Okay. Well, that that didn't beat Houndoom, unfortunately. <sighs> Dang it. You gotta stop letting your Pokemon get knocked out. Come on. Alright. At least she's got other Pokemon. I know that for a fact. <sighs> okay, good call. I was hoping she wasn't going to choose, like, Chestnut or something. Um, so I'm... I don't want to waste a power point, and I don't know if I do just by choosing it, so I'm not even going to... not even going to pick an attack. Like, Wish obviously isn't going to go off, but... You get, you get what I mean. That'll finish it. Okay, cool. Beautiful. I know I have ethers and stuff. I should use one right now, actually, before I forget. I'm throwing Sky Uppercut. Man. It's a good move. 85 power. Power Up Punch only does 40 is more than double the power immediately better than charging up power over time? Probably. I can always get rid of strength later and give him power up punch again if I decide I want it, right? <sighs> okay. Now before I forget, I'm gonna go give Bloom back her moon blasts. I don't care, man. Um, give Bloom back her moon blasts just so I have them. Uh, bag. A regular ether should be enough. Yeah. Looks like I even have an extra one after that, which is nice. We've got to be almost there, right? Anyway, hurry to stop it. Yep. Yep. All right. Cool. Whew. Use an electronic clock. What should we do? This might help. It's a device that helps you when you're stuck on a puzzle. Clement gave it to me. An electronic lock and a puzzle are the same sort of thing, right? That's cool. So, Clement's inventing thing actually came back into play. That's neat. Ta-da, the lock opened. Oh, and the device actually broke. Amazing, Shauna. You and Clement's device are both full of surprises. So, we're finally here. The legendary Pokemon is inside. Let's go help it. Yeah? Yeah, let's go.